Hello guys, it's Advanced Gaming and I'm back with a new and improved tutorial on how to play multiplayer games. With the PPSS PP emulator on Android. Without further ado, let's get started. I will be covering three methods today. The first method is going to be local multiplayer using the same Wi-Fi. The second method is going to be using zero tier, and the third is going to be local multiplayer using the hotspot method. Open the PPSS PP emulator and then go to the settings, then networking. Once you are there, enable networking slash on, and then built-in ad hoc server. Tap on change pro ad hoc server IP address. Now you need to do different things depending on if you are the host or not. If you are hosting the game, select your own IP address from toggle list. If you are not the host, and you want to join a game, then you need to copy the IP address from the same list, on the host device and then fill it in on your own phone. It is very important that the host IP address, and the IP you are using are matching. If you do not have the same IP address filled out, you can't play multiplayer. It is like an invite code. In this example, I'm gonna join a game that is hosted by a different phone. To join that match, I'm gonna tap on delete all. Then I'm gonna copy the IP address on the second phone. You can fill the IP address using the buttons, because your keyboard will not work for some reason. Now you need to change the port offset. Because the default port offset is most likely not going to work, and it will give you errors. Scroll all the way down, select the port offset option, then I recommend that you slide the slider all the way to 60,000. That worked the best in my experience. If you are done just tap on OK. The last thing you need to keep in mind before playing local multiplayer is, everyone needs to have the same PSP model set, inside of the system settings. I recommend that you stick with the PSP 1000 option. If you see, network initialized on the top of your screen. That means that you have followed this tutorial correctly and everything is working, if you get an error message in red, go back and repeat the steps because something has gone wrong. Now that you have set up your emulator for local multiplayer, just open the game you want to play, go to the ad hoc multiplayer option inside your game, and then make a lobby. Let the other players join and then you are done. As you can see everything is working correctly. Again, if you get an error message or you can't see each other, that means that you have not followed all the steps correctly. Now, let's move on to the second part, where I will show you how to play multiplayer worldwide, using the app Zero Tier 1. Now I'm going to explain how you can play worldwide multiplayer, using Zero Tier 1. You can use this method with anyone, anywhere, and you can even use mobile data which is not possible with local multiplayer. Let's get right into it. The first step is to install Zero Tier, from the Google Play Store. Once it's installed, just open it. Once you have installed it open the app, tap on the wrench icon. If you use mobile data, select the option here. If you use Wi-Fi, you can leave it unchecked. Now tap on the plus icon. You will need to enter a network ID here. Copy and paste the PPSSPP network ID I am filling in right now, it will also be in the description. Once you have done that, just tick the box below it and then down below, save the settings. Now that you have created the PPSSPP network, you can go ahead and enable it. If you get a pop-up, tap on yes to accept the VPN connection. Once you are connected, you have to wait until you can see your IP address when you tap on the network connection in zero tier. You need this IP address to host games, so that other players can join. If you are not the one that is going to host the game using zero tier, you can skip this step. But you have to still make sure you are fully connected to the network by waiting for the text to appear. Disabling and enabling the connection might speed up the process. Now, open PPSSPP and then go to Settings, Networking. Enable Networking slash WLAN. Also enable built-in ad hoc server. If you are hosting a game, 
copy the IP address from managed IP address inside the zero tier app earlier and write down in the ad hoc server address setting. If you are not the host and instead joining a game from someone else instead, then ask the host for the IP address inside of zero tier app and fill it out ad hoc server address setting. Do not use your own IP address if you are joining again. See it like a invite code of sorts. The last step is to change your port offset, I recommend 60,000. Then go to settings, system, and disable fast memory, because this causes issues with zero tier multiplayer. And that's it, now let's go ahead and try our game out. If you get an error in red when starting up the game, or attempting to play multiplayer, that means you have done something wrong. You should do the tutorial again carefully to make sure everything goes right. If you see, network initialized, then you have done the tutorial correctly. Congratulations! If you have any questions, then please ask me in the comments down below. Make sure to check the description first for additional information, my discord server link can also be found there. I will probably also make a FAQ comment which I will pin. So make sure to read the two before asking. Let's do this! Let's do this! Down two! One! Break off! Take this! The third and last method of today is going to be, POTS POT Multiplayer. What is so great about this method is that it does not require any Wi-Fi or data connection whatsoever, and there is zero latency or lag. So local multiplayer is very smooth. Go to the settings and enable your hotspot, you don't need any Wi-Fi or data for this, just keep those turned off. You might need to enable Wi-Fi coverage extension, in developer settings, to enable your hotspot without using Wi-Fi or data. Now. You need to let the other players connect to the hotspot, you have just created. Once everyone is connected, you can move on to the next step. Now you have to follow the exact same steps as in the first part of the tutorial, local multiplayer on the same Wi-Fi. The only difference with hotspot multiplayer is, that only the people who joined hotspot connection can host a PPSSPP game. The person who made the hotspot cannot host. The reason why only people who join can host is because the hotspot creator does not get an IP address they can share. Anyways, I'm going to go through the steps quickly here just to show it to you guys. But again, for a detailed explanation, follow the first part of this video. And I'm done, now I'm going to start the game quickly. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. And I am not connected to anything, so you can do this in a place there is no Wi-Fi or sell you or data. This was the end of my video, I hope my tutorial helped you guys, and if it did, 
then please like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.